Australia game and we've just come back in from training. Um, time it is like lunchtime now, so I uh, had a few changes for this week. I'm myself and uh, Mike Tindall are getting a, getting a full rest this week. I hate missing games, I have to admit. I'd uh, still love to be playing. I love being involved at the minute. This uh, squad's just brilliant. What a cracking day it was at the weekend. <laughs> cracking, cracking day. And uh, now I've just got to make sure we go out and do the same this week. We've just got to get two wins now, and, uh, and then we'll be very, very happy at the end of this series. But uh, it's one small part of the job done, I suppose. Still, a, still a big way to go yet. So we are walking down the road on the way to Twickenham. We've just been to do some hospitality prior to the game. It is now five to two. Let's see what happens. Richard Prescott of the uh, RFU and General Nors <laughs> tells us what we can and can't say. Better known as uh, Scoop. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, it's a fair point. Great yeah. atmosphere in the camp, like yeah. the spirit, like the banter. What about the stadium atmosphere at the minute? The stadium good? atmosphere is very good. Yeah. 70,000 should be here today. Yeah. We sold 56,000 five years ago. So it's all looking yeah. good. And after the Australia again, the tickets were just yeah. flying out. I just have to say, the camera work that I'm doing is phenomenal. You're right in the middle of the St George's Cross. <laughs> Couldn't be any better. Richard Smith, Barney Kenny, busy in action. 15 minutes before kickoff. Much yeah, Barney is focused as you can see. Barney, you were nearly on standby today to come and run on the pitch, weren't you? Yeah? Tell me you can tap that. We would have loved yeah. that. <laughs> Lewin, one of our physios, went down and uh, the legend that is Barney Kenny is now uh, he's now in here on standby just in case he has to uh, replace one of the physios <laughs> to run on the pitch. So it's Sunday after the game yesterday and um, we had another win, which is awesome. I think the boys were a bit frustrated after the game. They, they wanted to put a few more points on the board. But with the try line six times, they scored twice. But, you know, a win's a win. And uh, Samoa are getting a lot fitter, aren't they, Dylan? Hey, did you watch the rugby yesterday? You got a camera shy. So it's a day off today, just chilling out with family, back down in Bath. And then I'll be back on the road tonight. Back up to uh, England camp for the final game against South Africa.